So we will proceed now with the book of 2nd Samuel. Mamaya magre-recap ako sa 1st Samuel. But uh, this time I uh, uh, pupunta muna tayo. Pupunta muna tayo sa book of 2nd uh, uh, Samuel. We will just read uh, we will just read a passage from the book of 2nd Samuel and then uh, uh, after this ay magbibigay na po ko sa inyo ng uh, short details about the book of uh, Second Samuel. All right? Second Samuel, open your Bibles please in the book of Second Samuel chapter 1. Okay? In the book of Second Samuel chapter 1 and uh, we'll just read uh, uh, we'll just read verse number we'll just read verse number uh, verse number 1. All right? Are you there? Amen. All right. The Bible says, Now it came to pass after the death of Saul, when David was returned from the slaughter of the Amalekites, and David had abode two days in Siklag. And verse number two, And it came to pass, even it, it, came, to, it came even to pass on the third day, that, behold, a man, out, a man came out of the camp from Saul with his clothes rent and earth upon his head. And so it was when he came to David, that he fell to the earth and did obeisance. All right, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you, O God, for this passage. And as we learn a uh, uh, short details or summarized details of this book, please continue to give us the interest to learn about the information that we'll get uh, from uh, this Sunday school lesson and that uh, it will help us, O God, to be familiar with your word. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness, forgive us in all our sins. All these things, Father, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, please be seated. Please be seated. Now, last time na tayo po ay uh, uh, nag-usap, ay pinag-usapan po natin ang book of First Samuel. All right, the book of First Samuel and the book of First Samuel. Uh, both uh, First and uh, Second Samuel ay uh, katulad ng ating pong pinag-usapan, these are uh, pagdating sa Jewish scriptures up until this day. Kung maalala nyo po yung sinabi ko sa inyo, ito po ay treated as one book. They are considered as one book. And as far as the authorship is concerned, ang nagsulat po dito ay uh, kinikilala po nila na tatlo po ang, uh, ang uh, nagsulat ng libro po na ito. It is uh, Samuel during nung kapanahon na siya nabubuhay pa and Nathan and God. God. As in G-A-D. Alright? Nililinaw ko lang po. So, sila po yun. But of course, we still believe that the, even though they are the human authors, but we still believe that the uh, main author of the Bible is no other than God Himself. Alright? So, pinag-usapan po natin at uh, yung First Samuel and uh, pinaka nilalaman ng First Samuel, the simple outline na pwede natin matutunan sa First Samuel that I've discussed to you last time is that ay nahati po yan kay, kay Samuel, kay Saul, at saka kay David. Yung pinaka main uh, frame ng, or pinaka main na uh, nilalaman ng book ng First Samuel ay dyan po sa tatlo na yan nakahati. So, if we're going to recap First Samuel, Again, the authors is Samuel uh, with Nathan and Gad. And uh, meron itong 31 chapters. And this book of 1 Samuel covers 50 years. Alright? And there are some special phrases na hindi ko nabanggit sa inyo. There are some special phrases na uh, hindi ko nabanggit sa inyo na matatagpuan natin sa 1 Samuel. And uh, uh, meron tayo dito ng 1, 2, of apat, apat na special phrases na mababasa natin, mababasa natin sa 1 Samuel. And yung apat na yun is crippled witness, second best, lost opportunities, and admitting wrong. Alright? Inuulit ko po, if you're writing this down, there are some special phrases na mababasa natin sa 1 Samuel. The first one is crippled witness, second is second best, and the third is lost opportunities. And the last is admitting wrong. Bagamat, uh, sabi ko sa inyo, ito ay nasisentro kay Samuel, kay uh, David, and kay Saul. But uh, as far as the major persons of the first Samuel is concerned, kasama po si Eli sa first Samuel. Alright? 
And then, yun na po, sabi ko sa inyo, outline from chapters 1 to 8, yan ay patungkol kay Samuel, which is the man of God. From uh, chapters 9 to 15, that is all about David, the man, a uh, soul after man's heart. And David, mula chapter 16 to 31, is the man after God's heart. So, may kita natin tatlong tao, major, uh, uh, four major persons, pero ang story ay napunta sa tatlong tao na kinikilala as the man of God, after man's heart, and after God's heart. So, ngayon po ay pupunta na tayo at uh, I believe matatapos din natin yung uh, book of 2 Samuel. Uh, hopefully, matatapos din natin yan sa araw po na ito. Alright? So, again, ang um, 2 Samuel, part ito ng 1 Samuel. I mean, magkasama ito ng 1 Samuel. They are treated as one book. And uh, uh, yung division po ng two books as with uh, as katulad ng Kings and Chronicles, they originated with the Septuagint translation of the Hebrew Scriptures. Nag-originate po sila from the Septuagint uh, translation of the Hebrew Scriptures into Greek during the 3rd century. Okay, during the 3rd century. And uh, the same thing, of course, uh, uh, ang pinaka-author ay katulad din po sa 1 Samuel. Now, just to give you a short background of background facts of the book, ang 2 Samuel po, the book of 2 Samuel, I uh, devoted po ito almost, almost entirely patungkol sa history ni King David. Alright? Almost entirely about the history of King David. And uh, dito makikita po natin that David becomes king over Judah at Hebron in 1010 B.C. Okay? In 1010 B.C. And then, uh, uh, seven years later, I, uh, he becomes king over all Israel in 1003 B.C. And ang pinaka makikita natin sa verse po na ito, na ang kanyang total reign ay nag-span for 40 years. 40 years. Again, inuulit ko, during 1010 B.C., okay, ang, uh, yun, th that was the time na si David ay naging hari uh, over Judah at Hebron. And then, during uh, 1003 B.C., yan na po yung seven years later na kanyang paghahari sa Judah at Hebron, naging hari na siya ng Israelites na nagtagal for 40 years. And, makikita natin sa 2 Samuel na yung expression na inquired of the Lord, yung phrase na inquired of the Lord ay nag-appear four times. Nag-appear po ito four times. And 2 Samuel emphasizes the presence of God as being with David. Maganda po ito because the 2 Samuel ay ine-emphasize yan ang presensya ng Diyos ay na kay King David. Alright? And, and uh, uh, some backgrounds of this book is that actually the New Testament refers, uh, it, they refer to David as Israel's greatest king. Okay? Si David po ay nire-refer ng New Testament as the Israel's greatest king for a total of 58 times. Excuse me. Alright, for 58 times, yan po yung makikita po natin dyan. Alright, so yan po yung some uh, short background facts of the book of 2 Samuel. Now, uh, kung titignan po natin yung outline, yung pinaka-outline na po ng 2 Samuel, dito po nahati sa outline ng 2 Samuel yung 40-year reign ni King David. Okay, 40-year reign of King David. And, Ang message na makikita po natin sa book ng 2 Samuel is all about his triumph that was turned to troubles through his sin. Okay? Yan po yung uh, pinakamensahe po ng libro ng 2 Samuel. The triumph of King David are turned to troubles through his sin. So, mahati, makikita po natin dyan yung triumphs and troubles. Alright? Triumphs and troubles. Pagdating sa triumphs, David's triumph, the first category na mahati po, division ng, 
2 uh, Samuel is all about David's triumph. Bula po yan, 2 Samuel chapter 1 hanggang chapter 12. Alright? Bula chapter 1 hanggang chapter 12, yan po lahat ay tumutukoy sa triumph ni David. Meron po dalawang nilalaman niya na subtopic. Yung topic po na yan. First is that his being king over Judah for seven years. Okay? Your first triumph ni uh, David is that he's being king or at, uh, over Judah at Hebron for seven years. Pitong taon po siya. Isa po yan sa pinakaunang kinikilalang triumph niya as king. Okay? As king. Inuulit ko po. And then, the next is, uh, under his triumph in the book of 2 Samuel, is his king, uh, his being king, over all Israel for 33 years. For 33 years. Yan na po yung kanyang pag-aari over all Israel. So yan po yung dalawang topic na nakapailalim sa triumph ni King David na makikita natin mula chapter 1 to chapter 12 ng 2 Samuel. Alright? And then the next is David's trouble. After the triumph, the next part is David's trouble. Ano naman, mula, saan naman po chapter natin makikita yan? Mula chapter 13 hanggang chapter 24. Mula chapter 13 hanggang chapter 24. Yung chapter 13, nahati rin po yan sa dalawa. Okay? Yung chapter 13 hanggang chapter 18, yan po ay tumutukoy sa... Uh, family trouble ni David. Alright? Family trouble ni David. Mula kay Amnon hanggang kay Absalom's revolt. Okay? Amnon to Absalom's revolt. Yan po yung family trouble ni King David. And then next is David's nation trouble. Family trouble and then nation trouble. Yan naman po yung uh, uh, nagsisimula po yan from Sheba Revolt hanggang sa Pestilence. Pestilence. So yan po yung pinakamakikita natin may uh, outline sa atin ng uh, uh, unang may papakita ko po sa inyo na simple outline ng 2 Samuel. But actually, there are also another uh, uh, summarized outline ng book of 2 Samuel na hinahati po siya sa three, uh, uh, three periods but uh, medyo marami pong nilalaman yun but later on, uh, maaaring maibigay ko rin po yan sa inyo. Alright? Now, the main subject again of the book is uh, all about David's trouble and uh, David or David's triumph and then David's trouble. So talagang ang tinutukoy po dito sa 2 Samuel is the reign of King David. Alright? So yan po yung makikita natin pagdating po dito sa 2 Samuel. Now, as we always do, we always look for, uh, we always look for the, uh, uh, for this, uh, for the, uh, for the part ng bawat books, how we are going to look for uh, the Lord Jesus Christ in every book. So, pinag-usapan po natin yan sa 1 Samuel. Kung sa 1 Samuel, makikita natin ang Panginoon Iso Kristo through the prayer of Hannah. This time, makikita po natin ang Panginoon Iso Kristo in 2 Samuel through the Davidic covenant that is promised to extend the kingdom of David forever. Alright? Makikita po natin sa Davidic Covenant ang Panginoon Heso Kristo in this book na pinangako ito na mag extend ito that the, that the kingdom of David will extend forever. Chapter 7, uh, verse number 12 hanggang verse number 16. Hindi na po natin babasahin yan. Alright? Chapter 7 of 2 Samuel, verse 12 to 16. So, uh, kung bakit doon natin makikita, it's because we all know and we've already heard it that Christ, the Messiah, will descend from David's seed. And uh, napulpil po ito. Nangyari po ito. And Christ is also foreshadowed in the life of David in 2 Samuel through his eternal, uh, through to his eternal kingdom. 
So again, ulit ko, makikita natin, makikita natin sa 2 Samuel ang Panginoong Iso Kristo through the Davidic Covenant na, na pinangako that it will extend, na mag extend ang David's kingdom forever. Makikita sa chapter 7, verse 12 to 16, it is because dyan po magdidesend ang uh, Panginoon Iso Kristo, magbumula siya sa seed, uh, uh, from the seed of King David, and na-fulfill po ang covenant po na ito. Na-foreshadowed po ang, ang Panginoon Iso Kristo sa buhay ni David sa pamamagitan ng kanyang eternal kingdom. So katulad na sinabi ko po sa inyo kanina, Meron po tayong isa pang pwedeng makita ang uh, uh, paghahati-hati sa libro ng uh, Book of 2 Samuel. Alright? Sa libro ng Book of 2 Samuel. But before I go through that, actually, maikli lang po ito. Sabi ko nga po sa inyo, this is just a one book. Alright? Na kinukonsidered ng uh, uh, Jewish tradition. Alright? Uh, in the Jewish scripture, I mean. So dito po, the other... The other uh, divisions na makikita natin sa 2 Samuel, hinati siya sa tatlong periods. Okay? But before that, I'll give you first some choice selection. Just an aid para if you're trying to uh, uh, look for a story na may pwede nyo magbulay-bulayan or you can get something out of it. There are some choice selections that, that can be seen in the book of 2 Samuel. Makikita natin ang tatlo na ito. There are three uh, choice selections that we can view in the book of 2 Samuel. The first is David's generosity to Mephibosheth. Okay? David's uh, generosity to Mephibosheth. And it can be seen in chapter 9 of the book of 2 Samuel. Chapter 9. And also, we can also, uh, if you want to check out Nathan's parable. Okay, some of these are not familiar, but if you want to check it out, maganda rin po na makita nyo po ito. Nathan's parable can be seen in chapter 12 of the book of 2 Samuel, verses 1 to 6. Verses 1 to 6. And one of the best uh, selections na makita po natin sa 2 Samuel is David's Psalm of Thanksgiving, chapter 22. Okay? David's Psalm of Thanksgiving that can be seen in, uh, in uh, uh, chapter 22 of the book of 2 Samuel. All right? So now, I will, I'll try to give you those three periods. Nahati lang naman po yan sa actually first period and then the middle period and then the final period. So again, at tinutukoy po na periods po dito is the reign of King David. It is the reign of King David. So, during the first period ng paghahari ni King David, ay uh, na may kita natin dito sa 2 Samuel as well, is the early years ng kanyang reign. Okay? The early years of uh, his reign. And during this period, the King David bilang isang hari, ay, uh, he is always engaged to military campaigns. Okay? Military campaigns. And yet, ay uh, uh, bagamat ito ay military campaigns but yet ay si King David he is still he is he is still manifested with a spiritual mind okay with a spiritual mind by the way para lang po makita niyo gusto ko ipaalala sa bawat isa that it is not God who wanted them to have a king Sila po ang may kagustuhan na magkaroon sila ng hari. But because mabait ang Panginoon sa kanila, eh kahit mapano, eh uh, during this time of the life of the Israelites, ay ang patuloy na, uh, ang patuloy na uh, uh, binibigay sa kanila ng Diyos na magkahari, ay pinipili pa rin ng Diyos. Alright? Pinipili pa rin ng Diyos. So again, kaya yung, yung mga naging hari during this time, that they are not yet divided, ano po, they are not yet divided, ay uh, uh, mula pa rin lahat sa Diyos. Bagamat si Saul is after a man's heart, but yet, ay after him, nung nagka-problema po kay Saul, ay uh, yung pinalit ng Diyos ay mula na sa kanyang puso. Alright? So, during the early years of King David as, as king, ay nakampaign talaga siya sa mga, as, ang, ang kanyang focus ay nasa military campaigns. And of course, 
Eh, kung iyon ang iisipin natin, I, know, I do believe, ay naiunawahan nito ng mga military uh, uh, personnel o mga uh, membro natin from uh, sa, mula sa kasundaluhan, na itindihan nyo that uh, the, the focus, yung, yung inyong focus, ang inyong isip, ay palaging nakatuon doon sa mga assignments o maaari nyo gawin pagdating sa during military campaigns. You all know what I'm talking about. But again, Even though nandoon sa ganung sitwasyon si David during this time he is still uh, he is still ay uh, siya pa rin ay nagma-manifest. Lahat ng kanyang galaw pa rin is manifested due, uh, through a uh, or with a spiritual mind. Okay? Manifested ay spiritual mind. Nagpakita pa rin siya ng spiritual na kaisipan during the early years. Okay? During the early years. So dito po During the early years of King David, may apat po dito na pangyayari sa first period. During the primal, uh, uh, ang po na pinakaunang pangyayari po is tinatawag nating preliminary events. Preliminary events. And the first thing na nangyayari po dito na nabasa po natin kanina is ito po lahat ay tumutukoy sa execution ng Amalekite na nagkiklaim na siya ang nakapatay kay King Saul. Alright? It is being often used dito sa pulpit po na ito uh, as a preaching. So, makikita po natin from chapter 1, verse 12 to 16. Alright? The execution of the Amalekite na nagpakilala na siya ang nakapatay kay Saul. Kala niya makakakuha siya. I believe I've heard that preaching and I preach po yan dito ni Sir Michael. Alright? And then, the next thing, uh, the next uh, event, the next event of the preliminary events is that the uh, lamentation of David for King Saul and Jonathan. The lamentation of King David for King Saul and Jonathan. Yan po ay from chapter 1, verse 17, hanggang verse 27. So that, those were the preliminary events during the, first, uh, the, during the early years of his reign. And then the second part, after that, okay, after that uh, pre the preliminary events, ang sumunod na po na pangyayari during the first period is he was already anointed as king. David was anointed as king over Judah. Chapter 2, verse number 4. Makikita po natin yan, chapter 2, verse number 4. And the next thing na pangyayari po is that laban agad. After him being anointed as king over Judah, nandiyan agad yung nagkaroon again ng battle. Pero hindi pa military campaigns ito. Actually, uh, bagamat uh, halos kapasok na ito sa military campaigns siya, But uh, uh, this battle is highlighted between the followers of King David and the servant of Ishbosheth. The servant of Ishbosheth. From chapter 2, verse 8 to verse number 32. Okay, to chapter from chapter uh mula chapter 2 verse 8 to 32. And the next thing after that battle is The facts which eh, eh, makikita na natin dito yung mga facts that indicates uh, the king's godliness. The king's godliness. Tandaan nyo po, sabi ko po sa inyo, during the first period, engaged si King David sa military campaigns but yet, he is manifested with a spiritual mind. Kaya nga, dito po sa last part ng first period, ang makikita po natin ay mga ka, mga facts, mga nagkapahayagan na nag indicate ng godliness ni King David. Paano po natin yan makikita? Makikita po natin dito that he always seeks for divine intervention or divine direction as well. Divine direction. Makikita po natin yan dyan. And makikita natin yung godliness ni King David over his punishment for those who uh, uh, who sought to uh, have his favor to sought to have his favor by assassinating his rival okay katulad nung kanina pinag-usapan po natin and makikita rin natin yung godliness ni King David during this time sa so, mga ng kanyang discernment okay after being exalted as king over all Israel uh, in perceiving that his promotion ay laging nagbubula sa Diyos. 
Okay, so makikita natin ulit dito uh, yung godliness si King David and also his humility sa pag sa in attributing his military success to divine power. So makikita natin dito, hindi ko na po babasahin yung iba. Uh, makikita natin dito that on the last part of his of the first period na first uh, na nababanggit po sa 2 Samuel during the early years of King David as king, ay makikita po natin dito na lahat ina address sa Diyos, yeah, nire-recognize sa Diyos, nagsimula sa lahat, na talaga puro sa Diyos lahat. Kaya nga, though he is, uh, he is engaged in military campaigns, katulad na sinasabi ko kanina, nagmamanifest ang uh, spiritual mind ni King David. Alright? Nagmamanifest. Now, we will proceed to the middle period. Okay? During the middle period, ay uh, ang makikita naman po natin dito yung mga great military success ni King David. Sa chapter 10, makikita po natin yan. Yung mga military success ni King David. Great military success actually. And then the next part ng middle period, eto na. Dito na makikita yung fall and punishment of King David. Okay? The fall and punishment of King David. Bakit? Dito po yan. Tatlo pong nilalaman nito. Ito, pwede ko pa po ito mabanggit. Kasi uh, yung kanina, marami-rami pa po yun. Dito po, the first is in chapter 11, verse 1 and 2, makikita po natin dyan that David was tempted while at ease. Okay? David was tempted while at at ease. Okay? While at ease. Ibig sabihin, habang siya ay nakarelax, that was the time na siya ay natempt ng jablo. Alright? And then, the next part of his fall and punishment is his pollution of a humble home and murder of Uriah. Okay? The very familiar passages. Again, His pollution of a humble home and murder of Uriah. Bo chapter 11 po yan. And then the last part of his fall and punishment is the divine judgment na. Dito na natin makikita yung divine judgment ng Diyos that overtakes King David. Okay? Ito na yung makikita natin dito yung denunciation ni Nathan na ginamit ng Panginoon naging, uh, na, uh, na prophet ng Diyos dito na na makikita natin yung kapahayagan ni Nathan regarding sa mga ginawa ni King David pinadala na ng Diyos sa kanya si Nathan chapter 12 verse 1 to 14 okay chapter 12 verse 1 to 14 and then also makikita natin dyan that uh, uh, yung corruption okay The corruption of his son Amon or Amnon. Sorry, chapter 13, verse 1 to 20. Chapter 13, verse number 1 to verse number 20. Eto na tayo. By the way, etong middle period na ito, the second part of the middle period, dito na buo pasok yung troubles ni David. Okay? Na nagsimula sa pro sa kanyang family trouble. Tandaan nyo kanina, sabi ko po sa inyo, ang family trouble niya po ay nagsimula chapter 13. Ay uh, uh, papakita natin na mainly nasa chapter 13 hanggang chapter 18. Pero nagsimula na pumasok ito from chapter 12. Alright? And after the, re, the corruption ng anak niyang si Amnon, ang sumunod na nangyari is that the rebellion of Absalom. The Rebellion of Absalom. Mula naman yan chapter 15 hanggang chap chapter 18. Yeah, chapter 15 down to chapter 18. So yan na yung family trouble. Yan na yung middle period na makikita natin at mababasa natin sa book of 2 Samuel. Alright? And then, of course, after that, ay papasok na yung final period. So, naali nila sa tatlo. The first period, middle period, and then the final period. Anong meron naman dito sa final period? Dito na po natin makikita yung mga huling taon ni King David. 
Okay? This is the last years of King David from chapter 20 hanggang chapter 24. Okay? From chapter 20 hanggang chapter 24. So, yan lang po ang nilalaman ng book of 2 Samuel. Alright? So, magre-recap na po tayo. Tatapusin na po natin ngayon yung book of 1 uh, Samuel and 2 Samuel. And then next Sunday, we will proceed to another two books. Or, uh, uh, yeah, kung makocover natin yung first two books, I believe makocover na natin din. Alright? Dahil sabi ko nga po sa inyo, yung nature ng 1 Samuel and 2 Samuel and yung uh, Kings and even the book of Chronicles, lahat po yan According to the Jewish uh, uh, scriptures, they are all considered as one book. All right, they are all considered as one book. Right. Now, now, as we go into, as we recap the book of Second Samuel, again, the authors this time, ang pinaka author na dito ay si Nathan and si God. Okay? Kasi nasa last years na po ito. Nathan and God ang na, ang uh, ang uh, natirang author po ng book of 2 Samuel. It has 24 chapters. Meron nitong 24 chapters and it covers about 40 years. Okay? 40 years. And nagsimula ito sa paglament ni King David over the fallen King Saul at nagtapos ito sa matanda ng King David na nag offer ng sacrifice sa Mount Moriah para sa for the occasion na matigil ang plague upon Israel. Para matigil yung plague upon Israel. And then again, sabi ko po sa inyo ang 2 Samuel ay nahati po ito is all about the reign of uh, King David. Doon po ito naka-focus that nahati po ito sa dalawa at pag ini-detalye natin yung pangyayari nahati po ito sa tatlong pangyayari but in general it can be divided into uh, uh, two major outlines yan po yung pagiging hari ni King David over Judah at Hebron and chapter 1 to chapter 5 and from chapter 6 to 24 yan po yung kanyang pagiging hari all over Israel. So those are the uh, summarized details of this book that we can all learn para para malaman po natin yung nilalaman ng Biblia. Alam niyo po kasi minsan pag titingnan natin lalo na pagdating sa historical books. Actually, uh, dati po ay uh, uh, admittedly ako po ay talagang uh, tinatamad po talaga pagdating sa pagbabasa niyan eh. Pero pag nakuha mo na yung buong istorya, yung buong nilalaman ng istorya, it will give you the more interest to read the details. You see, kaya po binibigay po sa inyo yung summarized details of the book para at least may general idea tayo kung ano yung nilalaman ng bawat libro and that pag binasa po natin yun, it can even help us to schedule your Bible reading pag gusto ninyo na madali ninyong nauunawaan. You see? So all these are all beneficial or beneficiary for us para patuloy tayo maging familiar sa salita ng Diyos. Alright? I believe I uh, uh, meron po ako na itulong sa inyo sa umagang ito through the summarized uh, details of this book, First and Second Samuel. Again, next week, pupunta na po tayo sa book of First Kings and the book of Second Kings. Alright? Let's all stand up, please. At tayo po ay manalang. And then after this, we will proceed with our singing and the recognition of the first time Visitors, Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you, O God, for these details that you have given to us about uh, your word and uh, specifically in the book of 1 Samuel and 2 Samuel. Thank you, O God, for allowing us to learn this uh, uh, summarized details so that we will not be ignorant of uh, the contents of your word, O God. And once again, please continue to uh, give us the uh, hungering and thirsting for your word and the excitement to learn more from you, O God, and all throughout this service. All the glory belongs to you. All these things, Father, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, remain standing, please, and we'll sing one more song.